So now we'll go on to 141 where Jacob Bracken will square off with Tim Miranda. So the Bullets now lead in the team score 6 to nothing with decisions by Barrett Connor at 133 and Lenny Augazalik at 125. Nice start for the Bullets here inside Brame Gym. Bracken, another one of Gettysburg's strong sophomore class. He won 18 matches in his debut season. Coming all the way from Chatsworth, California in the Harvard Westlake School. One of two Californians on the Gettysburg roster. And a nice move by the sophomore to get the takedown. Gettysburg's other Californian is Everett Roach from La Jolla, California, in Choate Rosemary Hall School. Bracken went one and two in the opening weekend with a tech fall. Miranda went three and two with a pair of falls at the Maasai Invitational. Bracken in a strong position here, looking for back points. He's nearly got it. It's about a 90 degree, working down to about 75. Now it's close now, and the referee starts the count. He got to two, so he's got at least two points here. Bracken with a near fall two there. Of course, wrestling scoring has changed a bit this season. There are near fall twos and near fall threes now. There's no near fall three, uh, excuse me, near fall twos and near fall fours. There's no three point near fall anymore. If the referee will get gets to four seconds on the count, it's four points. Anything below will be two. Stalemate is called with Bracken on top. Bracken has a hold, and Miranda almost broke free. Nice move by Bracken to prevent that escape. He leads four to nothing. Bracken already with a minute 45 of riding time. 20 seconds left to go in the match. He's held the upper hand throughout this contest. Gettysburg rocking some new uniforms this year. Singlets with some lettering on the sides. Old uniforms used to be just plain blue. And that'll end the first period. Bracken holding a 4 to nothing lead. It will be Elizabeth Town's option. They defer, and Bracken will take the down position. Miranda nearly slips off the back, and a reversal by Bracken. So I think Miranda was looking to get a hold of Bracken's upper body there and just kind of slipped off his back. Bracken able to take advantage. That's a 6-0 lead. There is a warning on Miranda. So with Miranda wrestling at 41, that should mean Adam Smith will be in there at 49 in the next contest against Quinn Merrigan. Merrigan will be making his season debut, debut after missing the opening invitational this past weekend. Stalemate called while Bracken was working on top. Bullet sophomore holding a 6 to nothing advantage. A minute 9 left in the second period. He has nearly 3 minutes of riding time. Bracken sinks the leg in, works Miranda back down to the ground. Bracken tries to roll Miranda over, working on those legs. 
Coach Vogel telling Bracken from the bullet bench to work Miranda's shoulder. A nice move by Bracken. He's got Miranda in a near fall situation. Miranda rolls back over. I believe that will be four points for Bracken, and it is. Four point near fall for Jake Bracken. He's got a 10 to nothing lead. So already with a potential for a major decision, he's easily got the riding time point now. 15 seconds to go in the second period. So that's the end of the second period. Bracken leading 10 to nothing. And it's Miranda's option. He takes he takes up. So Miranda maintaining the position right now but Bracken flipping around working trying to work his way out of it he's very close to getting it and he does he gets the reversal so a 12 to nothing lead now for Jake Bracken another warning on Miranda and that's a penalty point for Bracken so that ups the lead to 13 nothing just two points away from a technical fall Bracken has clinched the riding time point as well so he's looking at at least a 14 to nothing victory but Bracken is working those shoulders over he's very close to the near fall and Official getting ready to count, and there's one and two. He's got the two points that he needs to clinch, and that will end the match. With 52 seconds left, Bracken wins by technical fall.